So you got your Nighthawk M1 and a few cell bands in your area that you can use for LTE data. But the M1 won't let you choose which bands to lock onto. Instead, you can only choose the group. And from the group, it keeps picking band 4 because band 4 has the best signal strength but slow download speeds. You notice when your M1 is on band 2, the speeds are much better. But it keeps switching back to band 4 because band 4's signal is stronger. What if there was a way to keep your Nighthawk locked to one band or maybe two bands and use carrier aggregation? and make sure that it doesn't switch back to the slower bands no matter how strong their signal strength is. There is a way, stay tuned and I'll show you how. As always, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button and leave any questions and comments down below. Now you're gonna need a few things. Your Nighthawk, of course, the next thing is a separate internet connection. You can't use your Nighthawk to access the internet for this process. You're going to need a separate cell router or hotspot, a USB-C cable, and a laptop. And oh yeah, a little bit of cheddar. Then you're good to go. Right. Uh, all right. Well, so it was a real client. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> you never know. That's the point. Go. DC Unlocker or Data Card Unlocker is a service that allows you access to a server so you can unlock and edit several different devices. You sign up with your email address, they give you a password that allows you access to the server where you can unlock and edit your Nighthawk. If you want to unlock your M1 from a carrier, it costs 29 credits. If you want to edit the IMEI number, that costs 29 credits. And if you do either one of these, you can edit the band list. Now the credits are measured in euros, you can do the conversion with PayPal. It adds up to about 32 bucks. So if you want to unlock your M1 from a carrier and change the IMEI number, that's going to cost you about 64 bucks. My Nighthawk was already unlocked, so I just had to pay to edit the IMEI number. So basically just come here to download the app and to buy credits so you can unlock your Nighthawk. This is the app. This is the version I got. It's an older version, up to 30. I believe this one is 28. This is where you log in. You put in the password they gave you, hit check login, and then you come down here, you'll see your login information, how many credits you have available. Now you're gonna plug your Nighthawk into your laptop with the USB cable, and you're gonna open your browser and go to 192.168.1.1. Log into your Nighthawk. Once we're in, we're gonna to go to settings, and in settings, we'll see all of the basic information of the Nighthawk. You hear the number. Right here, you look at the IMEI number. We're gonna be changing that. Then we go to diagnostics and we'll see the signal strength that we have and the band that we're on. Now you can unlock your Nighthawk with or without the SIM card in. I have mine in, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go to settings, then advanced settings, then cellular and turn my data off. Remember, when unlocking or editing the Nighthawk, you can't use the internet from the Nighthawk. And here's the limited band selection that the Nighthawk comes with. You got auto, 3G only, 4G only. I'm gonna be adding to that. Next, I'm gonna to go to setup, mobile router setup, and turn IP pass through on, so I can edit the Nighthawk. Once the Nighthawk reboots, you're gonna go back to DC Unlocker. You're gonna hit select manufacturer, go down to it, it says Sierra Wireless slash Netgear, select that. Leave select model on auto detect and hit the spyglass and all your router information should pop up down below. Now if your Nighthawk is locked and you want to unlock it and you bought the credits to do so, you just go up to unlocking, select that and then select network unlock. To edit the bands and to change the IMEI number, you select advanced. Right now we're going to hit edit bands, a window is going to pop up and then we're going to select read bands from router. On the left, you'll see the bands the Nighthawk has. On the right, you'll see the existing band list that we're gonna edit. Hit the plus button to create a new band list and name. When making the band name, make sure you include the bands that you're putting on that actual list and the name. Because once you get in the Nighthawk's interface, when you pull up the band list, the only thing it's gonna show is the name, not the bands. Once you create the band name, highlight it, then go over to the left and check the box for the bands you wanna add to the list. Hit the add band arrow button and then you'll see the bands pop up next to the name. Repeat this process for a total of eight different band lists. I kept my original three and then I added five. If you want to remove a band from a list that you already created, just highlight that band name, go over to the bands and check the band that you want to remove. 
then hit the remove band arrow button once you finish making your list hit the update button and as soon as you see the success box your new list are now on your nighthawk now go back to the advanced menu and this time hit the repair ime i button again make sure you have the credits to do this a window will pop up repair IMEI in this window you're going to type the new IMEI number that you want to change the Nighthawk to hit the OK button and in the log below it'll let you know when it's completed and when it does your Nighthawk now has a new IMEI number so what's my next move man now you're going to log back onto your Nighthawk and check out the changes we just made you're going to go to cellular and check out the new band list that we just added See, they're all there. So let's switch this to band 12 now. Then let's go to settings and check out the new IMEI number. Then we'll go to diagnostics and see that we're locked to band 12. So now you can lock your Nighthawk to the band that you choose. And if you have a certain data plan, the Nighthawk's IMEI number can now match the number that's on that plan that you use for the phone or the tablet that you signed up with. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and have a good one. I'm here to help. Thank you, you've been helpful.